Hi, you fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We're back with another reaction. It's movie time. What's playing today, Dan? We are watching Bruce Lee and Enter the Dragon. Okay, this is a first time for me. I'm excited. I think you'll enjoy it. Yeah, I've seen Bloodsport and I, I know the Chung Lee's in this. Mm -hmm. so I'm excited. Cheers to you, fam. Enjoy. Oh, of course. There you are, Bruce Lee. Yep. His opponent's too slow. You're just toying with him. I say it's not even a competition. I think we all knew how that was gonna go. Flawless victory. Ah. All right, show off. There is one who has turned the ways of knowledge and strength to his own base ends. His name is Han. He has brought disgrace to the Shaolin Temple. It is now for you to reclaim our lost honor. Somebody disgrace bad if they're after him. Mr. Lee, I've come to speak to you about a tournament of martial arts organized by Mr. Han. The man you're looking for. Title looks very similar to like Rush Hour. Music's very similar too. Yeah. Man, look at this dude. <laughs> You're gonna fit right in. Jim Kelly. Oh my god, how do you know which one is yours? <laughs> they're probably they're all, all his. They're all his, okay, yeah. <laughs> guy, he can't even walk on his own. He's got too much luggage. That's right. How's he gonna say? How's he gonna get there? Meanwhile, Jim Kelly gets off the plane with whatever he was wearing. Right. That's Han. That's the only film we have on him. That's O'Hara behind him personal bodyguard. We got our hands on a demonstration film of O'Hara. Mm. He can take a hit, can he? This is where you'll be going. All of his efforts are directed towards supporting his school of martial arts. Han's only contact with the outside world is this tournament. Kumite? Close enough. We believe he selects oh. attractive girls and methodically builds their dependence on drugs, then sells them to an elite clientele around the world. Mm. Oh, it's like he traffics. Okay. Yep. That's what it sounds like. We want you to go in there as our agent. Get us our evidence. We managed to place a female operative on the island. If she's still there, she might have something. Mm. Name's uh, Mei Ling. Mei Ling. She's an operative. The last of the tournaments were held three years ago. I was in the city with your sister at that time. Okay. Many of Han's men had come in from the island, bullying and arrogant. Oh no. That's what you get. Run! Oh, Run. now I know how I got the scar. Okay. Well, he came ready. Yeah. Oh no. Pissed off the wrong guy. I don't know what you expect. <laughs> They're harassing. Girl, you better run. Oh no. Oh, she's fighting okay. Oh, but she's cut from the same cloth, huh? Mm hmm. She's taking some punishment for this, though. Mm-hmm. Why are these guys still chasing? What do you gain out of this? I think they're tough guys. I'm not going to accept any disrespect. Oh, no. She's not going to help? You're trapped now. This is bullshit. She didn't do that to you. Is she gonna take her own life? Deprive them of their prize. Lord knows what they were gonna do. Mm hmm. Man, that's personal for him then. Yeah, the actual revenge. I love it when you get a good vengeance movie out of, out of the Asian cinema scene. Absolutely. They do it right. <laughs> we will not agree with what I'm going to do. It is contrary to all that you have taught me and all that Su Lin believed. Please try to find a way to forgive me. I don't think there's anything to forgive here. Mm -mm. I think these are extenuating circumstances. These are bad guys. They have it coming. Yes. Jesus. <laughs> He's a boat just for his luggage. Damn girl didn't have anywhere to stand, practically. <laughs> You're a lousy golfer. That's a tough shot, Mr. Roper. What is this shit? 
So 175 big ones by Monday the 15th. Oh, he owes <laughs> money to people? You got a gambling problem, sounds like. Freddy says this is for your own good. Ooh. Don't collect unless you know you can. It's like, I do the breaking around here. <laughs> he looks familiar. Is that the guy from uh, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street? It yeah. is, the sheriff. Yeah. yeah. Nancy's dead. Yep. Kind of remind me of the guys from the Warriors. I didn't want to say it, but yeah. <laughs> the whole scene here. Yeah. And these are the riffs for real, man. Mm -hmm. Going on a trip, are you? Where you going, Jig? Wow. Why y'all harassing this guy? Don't start it. When you wake up, you'll forget all about this. <laughs> oh, if you wake up. <laughs> And the dogs don't eat you first. So everybody has a reason to be out of the country. They do, don't they? Hey, soldiers, shave it up. Rupert! Hey, how are you? Oh, they know each other. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> what do you know about this Han cat? I hear he likes to live big. They don't live so big over there. Ghettos are the same all over the world. Yeah. Yep. But you got it really is like a kumite because you got an international group of fighters here. Definitely. <laughs> Uh -huh. We got here a little action. <laughs> Can't resist himself. What the hell did you do that for? Guy's just a prick, I guess. You're gonna get what's coming to you for that. What's your style? You can call it the art of fighting without fighting. Show me some of it. That island. We can take this boat. Okay. You fool. <laughs> I know where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Moron. Let the kids play with him. Well, I mean, you gotta learn a little humility. Mm hmm. Oh, it's gonna sink too. Say he might drown out there. <laughs> He's losing that. Serves you right. Mm. There he is. Yeah. Hello, young. Half the crew is just carrying this douchebag's <laughs> luggage, man. <laughs> the heck do you need that much clothing for a small tournament? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, damn. Oh, he does have a small army here, doesn't he? That's what I'm saying. Very cult-like, you know? Mm-hmm. Look at all of them. They're not in very good sync, but they're out there trying at least... That's a good point, jeez. <laughs> you seem to be very much at home here, Mr. Roper. Huh? This guy, Han's got a great sense of hospitality. Yeah, it's great. It's a nice place. You ever been to a martial arts tournament like this? Never. I have a funny feeling we're being fattened up for the kill. You may as well enjoy it, then. Yeah, may as well. Well, he does have a collection of beautiful women, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. Some very extravagant robes. Yeah. Welcome! I look forward to a tournament of truly epic proportion. Hear, hear. Mm. Oh. Nice shot. In other words, don't mess with me or my girls. I say these girls are deadly. <laughs> Dang. All right. That's interesting. Just whipping that out a little bit, huh? Yeah. Just a little reminder, you better watch yourselves. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Well, this tournament's getting better. For me? I'll take you, darling. And you. And you. Better stay focused. <laughs> I already have. Wise decision. Oh. <laughs> Pick the I, hostess, huh? I'm surprised nobody else did. <laughs> I want to talk to you, Mei Ling. He's already found her. Have you seen anything? Nothing much, but I can tell you this. People disappear. Who? The girls. They're summoned to Hans at night. And the next day, they're gone. Oh, they're trafficked, probably. Well, he's killing them after he uses them. Maybe, but didn't they say he traffics in them? Yes. Yeah. Gentlemen, let the tournament begin. No bullshit, let's just fight, huh? Yep. He didn't make it. Oh, okay. Too bad for him. He sucks. <laughs> right. <laughs> Good lord. You can see that guy's fist on his face. <laughs> 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 
Damn. Jeez. All right, Mr. Jim Kelly. He's got moves. Yeah. <laughs> At least he won this time. Win some, you lose some. Keep the action going for me, will you? What do you think, Roper? Give my friend eight to three all the way. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> you don't know your opponents. This is also a bad start. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he already looks beat up. I say he <laughs> took a shiner for that yeah, one. Yeah, he did. <laughs> oh, he's hustling. Mm -hmm. He's hustling. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering what was going on here. Okay. Oh. Cheap shot. Come on. Yeah, he knows he's being hustled now. It's a little obvious when you do it like that. <laughs> do you like it here? Oh, yeah. But a little lower. <laughs> I know. Oh, man, you are the libido of the show, Mr. Roper. I mean, he did get his ass kicked for a little bit there. Yeah. Where you go? Out in the moonlight, baby. It is not allowed. You must stay. Goodbye. <laughs> Look, they're only trying to help you. Like, well, I have a balcony if I can't use it. Yeah. You think all the girls are actually there to, like, keep tabs on them and spy? Some of them probably are. Okay. Well, you got nothing to worry about from Roper, so... <laughs> <laughs> the cover's blown. Next time, bring a pork chop. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. You better kill him. <laughs> He'll give you away. It's a pretty good hop. <laughs> yeah, it was. Wow. <laughs> A whole underground factory here. Yeah, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jigs up now. They ain't stopped him, though. It seems that one of you was not content. Last night, my guards performed their duties incompetently. Oh, no. Mm. Uh oh. They bring in the big guy. Oh. Okay. No mercy. Oh. Oh my good lord. That's a vulgar display of power. I don't think you need to do things like that. You just killed four guys with your bare hands. Are you ready? Oh. All right, time for some revenge. Oh, don't hit back. Mm, that's right. Let's see how you do against a man. All right, keep it together. Woo! Didn't even see that one coming. I didn't even see that one coming. He was on, just on the ground. <laughs> that was lightning fast. Take your time with him, Lee. Say enjoy every minute of it. Oh, Woo, get him! Come on, I thought you were a tough guy. Oh, oh damn. God, I felt that. <laughs> Jeez. Mm. Break him. This ain't gonna work. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> He's not getting up from that one. That's your right hand man, too. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. Oh, he's fine. I'm <laughs> pretty sure he's dead. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. Never mind, folks. All right. <laughs> that was satisfying, though. Mm -hmm. What were you looking for when you attacked my guards? Wasn't me. You were the only man outside the palace. Mr. Han, suddenly I'd like to leave your island. It is not possible. 
They got you surrounded. You're not going anywhere. You come right out of a comic book. <laughs> a little bit. Don't mess with Jim Kelly, man. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. Oh. Ooh. All these girls are just spun. Yeah, From the opium bin. I mean, if you gotta lose, you're in the right spot. <laughs> what the hell? Why does it sound metallic? What's this all about? Oh. Good God. This is a messed up scene. That's why it's a fake hand. This is my museum. That's an interesting weapon. So is that one. The hand, okay. <laughs> What's this? A souvenir. Probably his real hand. Yeah. If you please, Mr. Roper. You mean you want me to put my head on that thing? An act of faith. No, no thanks. No, come on. Not the kitty. Very few people can be totally ruthless. There you go. Save the cat. Get him out of there. That's... Now you've got eight more. You owe me one of them. <laughs> then there is a point. You will not go beyond. Oh. Break down again. <laughs> yeah, he got you. Why is he getting the guided tour? It's a good question. Oh, please. The part of this tour he didn't want to see. Right. And here we are stimulating quite another need. These will be the traffic girls. It's gotta be. And who are they? Just lost drunken men who no longer care where they find themselves. I doubt that. Soon to be auctioned off? You left some rather sizable debts in America. Oh my god. Oh. Is that Jim? I think it is. Is that Williams? Yeah. There were some questions which I was forced to ask. I got no answers. Really? You want me to join this? I want us to have a clear understanding. That wouldn't work for you. There's no misunderstanding between us. I'm about to say, Mr. Gambler, now's the time to play your cards correctly. Uh-huh. Damn, man, not Williams. That... He didn't do anything. <laughs> oh. Well, they're not letting you get in there the second time, are they? It's a damn cobra. Oh, that's smart. Mm -hmm. So wait, after complaining about his security, he got in even easier this time? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, when you kill half your guards over there, <laughs> the snake's going to have to do the job of four people, okay? Oh, no. <laughs> Help me. I'm dead. Help me. Oh, my oh, God. Boy. This was stoned out of her mind. Jesus. Lord. These are horrible people, aren't they? Mm hmm. Oh, you kept the snake, didn't you? That's Smart move. Yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> you gotta handle that thing like that? Feels very confident in himself <laughs> there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> ah, no. no. Yeah, just smack the snake a little bit. It's fine. Why? <laughs> Well, he got him out of there, I guess. Well, that was too easy, wasn't it? <laughs> it really was. Oh, I see what he's doing. Getting the message out. It's all here. Come get us by. Right. <laughs> too easy. Is this the only way we can see his actual hits? Is by slowing it down? Probably. Oh yeah, then they did us a favor. <laughs> All the different... Oh. God dang. Okay. And somebody's enjoying this. This is like no challenge for him. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and they have weapons. Why don't you guys quit while you're ahead? They were never ahead. They are behind the whole time. Yeah, but you still have your life. That puts you in a different playing field than those who don't. 
Man, now it's all about right and wrong, isn't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Guys, just stop. You're gonna single-handedly bring down Han's whole operation. He hasn't done that yet? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, an upgrade. Shit. Uh, you done effed up. Uh uh. Run. <laughs> well, now they can just gas you in there. Hopefully not. Your skill is. Extraordinary. And I was going to ask you to join us. <laughs> join you? I'm taking over this company. <laughs> My God, this came in half an hour ago. Why didn't I... He's killed half of them already. <laughs> well, wake him up. I don't care if he's not alone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if he's in bed with Margaret Thatcher. Put him on the line. Would you be good enough to participate in this morning's edification? About to say the jig's up, the cavalry's coming. Like you said, there's a point I won't go beyond. Mm. I will find someone with whom you can fight. Bolo! Oh no. no. Can Roper handle this guy? I'm not betting on him. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh boy. Bite it. Bite the leg. There you go. You heard you. That'll make him let go. Good job. Oh, not so good job. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, okay. You already had an army here. That's right. Yep. Roper, I give you credit, man. He's doing good. Yeah. Oh. Oh, come on, really? Did that just kill him? <laughs> Surely not. Bolo didn't do it. These idiots aren't going to do anything. You need more than four guys. This is pathetic. Mm-hmm. You call this a martial arts school? Come on, these guys are black belts. They're not even putting up a fight. Only thing those belts are good for is holding up their pants. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Get them. It's full on right now. Oh my God. Just turned into big trouble in Little China in here. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I wish Williams were here. He'd love this too. I know, right? <laughs> what is this? Go for the special hand, okay. Oh. Oh, we mm. got him. Oops. <laughs> mm. <laughs> He's going for the kitchen knives. You have offended my family, and you have offended a Shaolin temple. Pick a finger. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, careful. Watch, watch that left hand. Oh, I think you got him. <laughs> like a man. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Oh, God. What the hell? That's a dummy, right? <laughs> guy's starting to look like shit. Come on, just do it. Don't tell me there's a bunch of mirrors in there. No! Uh, oh, God, it's one of these rooms. Why would anybody want a room like this? Oh, I remember this from the Bruce Lee movie, Dragon. Do you? The scene was filmed when a typhoon was going or something. Really? Yeah. Based on the reflection, he was right in front of you, and you didn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was! <laughs> Crap, there he is. Oh, come on. Too easy. Shoot 
The glass. <laughs> All right. Just follow him. You had him. Dragging that shit out, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, they are. The enemy has only images and illusions. Destroy the image, and you will break the enemy. Yes. <laughs> They're gonna pull a cone in the destroyer. <laughs> he is, isn't he? <laughs> All that glass is no good now. Oh. oh. Did they scare that? Pierced by his own spear. Well done. Well done. That's justice. The temple has been avenged. Roper, you're something else, man. I didn't think you had that kind of fight in you. You took Bolo. Yeah, they kind of nerfed Bolo there. There at the end they did, huh? <laughs> oh no. Oh no, did she die? Yeah, so somebody got her. Well, they're not afraid to take people out in this movie, are they? Mm -mm. <laughs> Here comes the cavalry. Way too late. You leave anything for us, Lee? Just bodies. <laughs> Just bodies. <laughs> okay, then. Well, on the bright side, I guess we can buy the island now that Han's dead, right? Or you could just sign his name on the lead on the deed or something sure well either way good guys won bad guys lost as it's supposed to go yes that movie kind of surprised me there i thought it was good as an action film but it was also but it also had some uh, incredibly funny moments that i didn't see coming mm -hmm. but i guess that's to be expected in a movie like this. Well, you have a very, you know, unique cast of characters here because it's not just Bruce Lee, who's usually a very intimidating guy. Right. You have John Saxon in there who, as we said, was playing a degenerate gambler. <laughs> he did well. You have, you know, Williams, who's a playboy out there. It's actually a really nice cast and made the movie a lot more interesting than it could have been. I know, they all had their own unique quips about him. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, Bru Bruce Lee was very, uh, was very stern, mm -hmm. very much a by-the-book uh, student of his craft. Yeah. Master of his craft, for that matter. Yeah. You got Roper there who plays it as it lies, so to speak. Mm -hmm. You know, degenerate gambler, uh, definitely just kind of lives life uh, for the moment because tomorrow's not guaranteed. Yeah. And then you had uh, Williams there who's kind of the same in his own respect, but he's very much like high on himself. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. like he has a big ego to boost. You know, he kind of back, he kind of backs it up up until the end there. I was going to say, other than Han, he had the skill to take on all those guys. I, th I think he probably could have beat Bolo, too, based on what we saw. Unfortunately, he bit the dust. Yeah, but he got surprised there. I mean, he kind of went into that fight not really knowing what the other guy's skills were. And they and they kind of surprised you. But you did, you went into that meeting in good faith, so there's no reason for you to think that anything was going to go wrong. Right, and of course, you know, Han made the right decision in protecting his hand with a glove, so you never really knew it was a fake hand unless you were just watching him constantly. Exactly. I suppose all the, all the dudes escaping from the jail cell there... Mm -hmm would kind of be your, you know, good we rescued all the people that were on this island. Mm -hmm. But you never really saw what happened to all the girls that were being trafficked. So hopefully they're okay, but it's some of them became casualties of the war. So I'm assuming Maylene probably went down there and freed them too and just took them someplace safe while yep. the fighting was going on. Yeah, they never really uh, finished off that storyline with her, did they? Yeah, the funny thing is, we never see Han's daughters out there though. Didn't he say they were like his best bodyguards it's kind of a they kind of forgot and dropped the ball in that one didn't they? i say a giant fight race i don't you think you'd want them out there helping throwing their daggers everywhere something that would have been interesting yeah so i think you're right i think there's some things they kind of overlooked there but for the most part i think they had a nice little story there you know bruce lee's out there for revenge for his sister against o'hara and then of course the whole thing with han having disgraced the shaolin temple by taking up his evil ways i guess right i got that revenge on o'hara relatively early in my opinion and but, very easily yeah he stood no chance a lot of times in a, re in a revenge fight you think it's like a very tough fight and it's very emotional he just went out there and slaughtered the guy i was surprised by that because they were really hyping him up to be like a an unstoppable force mm -hmm. but you know he just turned out to be all talk yeah all talk with a with a scary looking scar and that was it you were talking about um talking about how fast bruce lee was moving when he was fighting right here too like i've actually heard they actually had to slow down some of the scenes in this you could actually see him strike well yeah because that's what we saw there they they actually yeah. showed some of the fighting in slow-mo yeah and i and i'm sitting there like i bet that's exactly why they do that but like even in that fight with o'hara i think they actually slowed that down. 
Oh, you think so? That's how fast he was going. Like, especially that devastating kick to the to the midsection there? All of it. Yeah. Just, just like every single punch, they probably had to slow it down just a smidge. You could actually see him throwing his fist. It looked like they were actually taking the shots, too. Some of them they probably were, and they probably shot in slow motion so you could see them take the hit. But some of them were really close. Like, a lot of times you can tell when they're kind of doing choreography and kind of missing each other intentionally. Yeah. It was really hard to tell on some of these. That's crazy, man. And that's good on Bruce Lee because I think he he was the stunt coordinator for this, so you know he got him in there looking good. He did all. I think it said he, he did all the fight sequences or whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously he did because that's him out there doing this. But still, yeah. Do you think he like stunt coordinated for for everybody though? Probably. Okay. Why not? I mean, if he was he was a master of his craft at this time. I said the man was a martial arts trainer. I'm sure he knows you know how to give people direction. Certainly. Good on him. That was a fun movie. It was a fun movie. I liked it. It actually had some interesting little suspense in there, too. You know, trying to find out what happened to his sister and, and trying to figure out, you know, what the whole operation was that Han had going there. Han was an interesting character. I'm like, he kind of, you know, the tournament didn't seem like really the main attraction to this whole, whole thing. Mm -hmm. It's almost an excuse to find new recruits. Yeah. You know, it's like, all right, who here would be worthy? And it's like, I see why you went for uh, Roper there. The guy's already got gambling problems and he's got debts that he owes to people. Right. But it, which means he's impressionable to, to an offer. Because really both him and Williams you know, were involved in criminal activity already. So it, it wasn't entirely out of the realm that they'd be willing participants in a criminal enterprise. Lee is a little bit more interesting to me, I guess, because he was a... A prominent member of the Shaolin Temple. That's why he was invited. I don't know. Maybe, I don't get that one myself. I don't know if they had like some fake background they created for him that made him sound like he was a known criminal, but they didn't really explain much there. They might have done that. Yeah, I could see that from the uh, what was it, Interpol that was trying to get him to do that? Something like that. I could see them trying to do something like that. Mm -hmm. Give him a yeah, just kind of give him like a fake alias to work behind and yeah, send him in. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's a smart idea because you get people in there who are one very capable of handling themselves in their business. You get people who are you know, willing to engage in criminal activity. People who you know have a reason to be dependent on you because of that criminal activity. They can't just you know, go back to the U.S. because they want men now. Yeah, different people like that also expand your operation to other avenues. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like they have different skill sets that make them valuable commodities to whatever operation you're trying to expand upon. So. Right, and the nature of the tournament itself, because this is not you know a legal tournament, it's a small private thing. That kind of tells you that these guys are willing to go outside the bounds of the normal rules to do yeah. things. And they can give you a foothold in the United States if necessary, mm -hmm. which would be a huge money market if you're for you really to try to traffic people. Oh, absolutely. So, yeah. Both both people and drugs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think I see the method behind his madness there. Mm -hmm. It's about as evil as it gets then. Okay. Yeah. I think I think Williams had it right. He's like a character out of a comic book. <laughs> I, I, was, I was thinking more like a James Bond villain, but close enough. He had that James Bond about him, too. I could see it with the cat and everything. Yeah. And, the and the, of course, the iron hands and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, this is very much a James Bond villain. But I think he's both. He's that, you know, incredibly over-the-top comic book villain. Yes, very much so. But also comes off as the James Bond guy that no, that's very elusive. The criminal mastermind with all with his, his money own and compound. Yeah. yeah. But they at least compacted this into a shorter movie. So, yeah. Yes, very true. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, like you said, I think it's a really good movie, really good action. The plot, you know, is it going to win any awards? No, but it keeps you interested. But on that note, guys, I do think we're going to go ahead and call it a night here. As always, if you're brand new to this channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing and help us grow. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hit the bell to receive notifications every time we drop a new one. And should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind, do so in the comments. While you're at it, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. See what we're up to over there, guys. Also, if you feel like supporting this channel further, by all means, consider hitting the join button and becoming a member, guys. We'd greatly appreciate it. You'd have our gratitude forever. But it's not required, guys. We're just happy to have you with us. But as always, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, fan. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Later. Bye.